несколько лет назад a few years ago I found my God who helped me leave Christianity. There was a test in the form of a baptizery in which I immersed myself thrice like a zombie. My condolences. And after that, all my powers disappeared. Everything that used to provide me with strength and creativity. I'd been writing poetry since I was six years old, but I haven't written a line since this happened. For more than a year, I've been trying to start from scratch. I've been working on gaining my strength back, spending more time in communication with my God, which I eventually achieved. When I thought I was ready, I asked him to teach me, but he said I wasn't ready yet and that he would guide me instead. And he truly did, but towards the black book magic. This has been pointed out to me and emphasized on multiple occasions, first at the abstract demonic field, then the egregorial one. Now he has brought me to cathedral witchcraft. I know that I'm about to re-enter the egregore, but somehow I don't feel like a slave. Please tell me, is it possible that a pagan god brought me to Christianity? And what should I do further? Will I have to leave it the same way I did the first time? Not at all, colleague. The black book magic is the other side of Christianity, a type of an anti-egregore, its opposite side. Take, for example, the Sephiroth tree and the Judaic operational system that we've been living on all this time. The operational system of Sephiroth has its opposite, or the underground side. This other side of the Sephiroth is called the Klipoth. So the black book magic works with the energies of the Klipoth that is with the dark energies. Accordingly, when you come to the black book magic, it is more like well, redemption may not be the best word here, because paganism doesn't imply the need to redeem one's guilt. It is more likely to be the way to develop a so-needed dark magic anger, which will make you immune to Christianity, to its fakeness in general, to its principle of all forgiveness. Because the black book magic has it the other way around. No one forgives anything, ever, under any circumstances. The black book is the other side of Christianity. If your God has determined that you are so uncertain when it comes to Christianity that you climbed into this baptismal font and allowed all the marks and connections flowing through these marks to be washed away, and then of course you try to bring them back. The fact that you've put a lot of effort into it proves you to be a stubborn person, and yet, with a head on your shoulders who understood what he had done, but at the same time as someone still vulnerable to a similar situation happening in the future. Christianity spent 2,000 years on developing the algorithms of luring the flock into its web. And I can assure you, if they come after you personally, they will find a way to pull you back in. You are lucky they did not express any interest in you personally, and it was your own foolishness that made you get into this font and that allowed the cleansing to take place. That is why you must work on getting the nails, the claws, the horns, meaning that you should take up the appearance of something so awful and so terribly tantalizing in order to achieve stability. If you have to go through this experience, then you just have to do it. And understand that the black book magic is neither a one-way ticket nor the Kabbalah, like Christianity. It is an experience you will have to go through. And you can stay there if you want, or leave if you want. But if your God directed you straight to the black book magic, well, this is very valuable advice. There you'll learn not to be afraid. You know, at night, standing at the crossroads or at the cemetery, when you perform a ritual, the fear goes away quickly, believe me. You do it a few more times and the next time you'll never again get tangled into the Christian all-forgiveness, especially after tests like that.